How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we're back doing the Lord's work scouring the internet for some really sick ass builds or just making sure you don't stumble across a piece of shit that's not worth your money. We're going to take a look at these builds and see if they are rice or nice and if you know maybe maybe it could be your next build your next project so let's go ahead and dive right in. If you guys want to send me anything send it to my gmail drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Let's start with this first car 2005 Nissan 350 z coupe two door sixty three hundred dollars not too bad for a 350z and then you take a look at it and it looks nothing like a fucking 350z the front bumper gtr g35 inspired the hood is kind of sick besides the shit paint job all across this car you took a nice black 350z and then just added the most aggressive color possible in order to to make it look like it is some super fast race car red does not add power and spraying red everywhere doesn't make your car look any better like who, who the fuck would spray their louvers red louvers are cool why spray them red because you're an idiot and you don't know what the fuck you're doing this guy has about as much taste as the people designing these new shoes i mean they're, they're just hideous it's disgusting red chassis mounted wing as if a chassis mounted wing wouldn't stand out enough offset license plate lets us know that he is in fact a car enthusiast because you're not if you don't have it offset z right on the bumper i mean that's not a bad idea it just looks like it was done with like one inch painters tape which is really cheap into the interior we can see some sort of red spray painted shit and a wood steering wheel that does not match the rest of the build one bit and of course it's an automatic transmission typically is you know whenever you see these cars that look super uh aggressive or built typically it's a fucking piece of shit automatic transmission i don't get me wrong i've said it before automatics can be fast the newer ones but going back to these like would you rather have an automatic 350z or a manual 350z i don't think anyone's gonna deny that a manual 350z is where it's at Anyways, first build for $6,300. If you want to blow $6,300 on this riced out piece of shit, by all means, go ahead. Me, on the other hand, no. This one is certified rice. Moving on to the next car, 1996 Acura Integra GSR. 117,000 miles? That's not bad. $6,000? That's, you know, when you start reading the brochure, it starts to seem pretty good. And then you take a look at it. Hot Wheels? More like hot piece of shit. I mean, what, what's with this this fitment up front? I mean, I guess it is going down the driveway, but a Hot Wheels Integra that just doesn't look right. The, the camo wrap, my bad. The chameleon wrap isn't bad. Uh, it's just everything else about this car. Like, you got C5 taillights or C4. You got Corvette taillights on a fucking Integra. Why? I don't know. Are you trying to make it look sort of like a Skyline? Wrong car brand, moron. He shows his fucked up fender. I wonder how he did that. It's not like his car is slammed on the floor anyway, so he just must be a bad driver. Underneath the hood, of course, bone stock. Who would have guessed it? I would have guessed it, actually. I mean, taking a look at this car, I just, you know, it is what it is. Most people nowadays love to make their cars look kind of cool, but they don't touch jack shit underneath the hood. Like, pff, you went through all of this effort to make it look super aggressive and super cool, made it stand out from the crowd, but it's just as fast as every other grocery getter piece of shit out there. And that's not fast. You're not going to win any races. You're, you're, you're just not. Not in this car. Maybe if you were racing, like, a, I don't know, a person in a wheelchair, like the electronic wheelchairs, you know, maybe. But, I mean, if this person has, like, you know, a lipo battery, maybe, I don't, I don't, I don't think you'd have a chance. I, I think you're screwed. Anyways, this one surprisingly sold for $6,000. Someone came up on this, and uh, that just seems like the biggest waste of $6,000 I can ever imagine. You would have had more fun just throwing that $6,000 in a fucking drain. It would have been way more rewarding than buying this car. What? Wow, speaking of shit in the background, look at that. What's, God, more pieces of shit, man. Like, the truck's sick, but what the fuck? Don't let this guy buy any more Hondas. He's destroying them. Anyways, 6 k moving on. This one isn't riced out, obviously. This one is just kind of cool and interesting. 2005 Ford Mustang GT. Dude's asking $26,000? $27,000, technically. That's pretty high. But looking at it really quick, you're like, damn, like that's a pretty clean Mustang, man. Like that's that's like mint. Like, like, you know, like no one's ever bought it. And that's exactly what it seems like happened. This car has 38 miles on it total. 38. That's it. This car is almost as old as it is in miles. Like that's that's pretty amazing right there 38 original miles minty car i mean if, if you're a huge fan of a three valve i mean shit you might be able to work out a deal with these people but they are asking an arm and a leg then again 38 miles pretty much a brand new mustang gt not bad but for that price i mean you can get a used 5.0 like all day anyways that was just a quickie moving on to the next build we got a 2011 subaru impreza wrx 
I feel like I've talked about this one before, but I'm not sure. This dude's asking $23,400. All these Subis just kind of look the same. They kind of all just do the same thing. You know, color changing wrap. Oh, little wide body flares. Oh, this one has some decent fitment though. Like, I'm not really gonna diss his car too much. It's actually a pretty clean build. He didn't go too crazy with it. Like, he's got the nice harness bar. He's got the harnesses correctly mounted. Some nice aftermarket Brom seats. Like, no hate here, honestly. Like, the fitment, A1. Wheels, pretty sick. The whole build, like, for what it is, I'm gonna have to tip my hat to him. I think we found the first nice build of the episode. For $23,000 though, I don't know, Subi boys, let me know down in the comments. Is that a fair price? Is this thing worth $23,000? How many miles does it have? Dude said it has 78,000 miles, so it's almost ready for that head gasket rebuild kit, but you can still get some, some love out of it. And for what he did to it, it's pretty clean. I'm going to have to go ahead and say this is the first nice car of the episode. He, he's done a lot to it. I don't know if it's all to everyone's taste, but he didn't destroy it. That's for sure. He just did a lot. Hopefully, he did some shit underneath the hood. Moving on to the 1995 Nissan 240SX SE Coupe 2-door 8Gs. Man, it's crazy how these 240 prices just keep going up. I want to say 5 or 10 years ago, 5Gs or less. But now, 8Gs for this destroyed 240SX? Drew, it's not, it's not destroyed, Drew. It's, it stands down, Drew. It's, it's, it, that's not destroyed, Drew. That's, that's really clean. No, no, no. You cannot tell me in the comments that this 240 is more fun and more practical like this than it would be just on stock ride height and stock wheels. I'm not saying you can't lower your vehicle. But slamming it to the floor, at least it does look like it's on air right if we look into his truck. But slamming it to the floor, like, wh why? Just the, the, the body of the car is so perfect. Like, it's primered out, ready for spray paint, and it, it's just perfect. And it looks like he took care of it. Like, I got to tip my hat to that. But ah, it's just such a great car. It's a great driver's car. And you hate just like in this condition, good condition, just the horrible suspension job. Like I said before, it is on bags, so that is fine, I guess. But just still, I mean, it's ugh, eight Gs. I mean, you're getting a clean body 240. Just get rid of the trash ass camber, please. Somebody save this car. Take it away from this person. Somebody save it. If you do save it, let me know down in the comments. I feel like it's not a bad buy for eight Gs. Got to put some elbow grease into it. You know, get a nice. Ooh, what what color would look green? I like them in like that dark Nissan green color. I think it's a factory color. I love that color. There's one at the the tuner shop I was at yesterday, and it's minty very minty anyways let me know what you think um wheels so deep you can cook pasta in them uh you know it's not to everyone's liking it's definitely not to my liking but it's not my car so anyways let me know what you think is it worth 8k i don't think it's riced out i just think it's uh ruined it's another word that starts with r so it fits ruined second to last car this one sold as well i wonder why 2012 hyundai veloster coupe these things devalue faster than corvettes or even mclaren's like five thousand dollars five thousand dollars that is so cheap i remember when these things were brand new they were like the coolest car ever well i shouldn't say coolest car ever but they were the coolest grocery getter ever anyways putting lambo doors on it pff, 10 out of 10 best grocery getter you can afford it's a weird car you got like a three door four door hatch kind of like you can sit in the back seat only from entering from the passenger side there is no to second door on the driver's side it's kind of weird anyways well i'm just glossing over everything that this fucking dude ruined this car with uh lambo doors on a hyundai veloster no uh fake tow hook on the hyundai veloster no uh going into the interior okay not bad oh pfft. spray painted engine cover and a cheap cold air intake no just just don't do it like if you're not going to buy some legit parts don't do it i don't remember if it actually said veloster right here if he added that but if it does say that right there, mm, I don't know. Hitting your head on that shit in an accident wouldn't feel too great. Red carpets or red floor mats. I mean, this guy loves red. You got the red car. Put some red accents on the interior. He's got one red seat for fuck all reason. Don't know why the passenger gets to sit on a red seat. Maybe one of his female passengers had an accident, had a little oopsie. Maybe the time of the month and he just dyed the whole seat red. I don't know. I don't judge. It's, uh, you know, his car. But yeah, I just, what what's with the, like, the rally style window in the back? Like cheap ass wheels. Ugh ah like it sold somehow so i wonder how much he got for it i bet some dude fucking talked him down to like 4500 that's that's a good price for something like this like 4500 shit i'd drive up for 4500 i just would never open the door i'd climb out nascar style man ricky bobby just just right out the window just even maybe out the sunroof just climb out why not this car certified rice Last car, it's 2012. Oh my God! See, look at this—the difference in price. 2012 Infiniti G37 convertible limited. 
11 g's it does have 83,000 miles so that is pretty low but it literally looks like he tried to one up me when it came to ricing out his car if you guys saw my riced out super episode it looked damn near very similar to this i mean he's got the front lip he's got the cool tribal flame decal going down the side he had to he had to flex with the top halfway up halfway down you know he's just flexing like that he don't got the lambo door so that's gonna do for now top all the way down just a solid flex. You guys can't see it yet, but he do got that big aftermarket hood scoop on there. How much horsepower do you think that's adding? Like 15, 20 imaginary horsepower? Probably. It's that little boost of confidence for the driver. Like, yeah, hmm, I am a car enthusiast. I could gap all these clowns on the street. It, it's pretty good if you squint and if you don't uh, take into account all the bullshit he did to it. Now, with these mods in mind, you can remove them in a swift five minutes. I did it to the Supra after I was done ricing it out. Swift five minutes, maybe some goo gone, and you're good. So for $8,000, I mean, you're getting a pretty decent car. Hopefully, he didn't abuse it. If he didn't know how to mod his car, I bet he didn't know how to drive. So those wheels are probably curbed to shit, and his transmission is probably beat to fuck and probably never changed his fluids. I mean, like, it doesn't even look like the hood scoop is centered. Maybe it's just an illusion from the photo, but buyer's remorse. I would just avoid this car. But for $11,000, eh, no, it is pretty fucked up. This car, like many of the other ones we took a look at today, of course, certified rice. The fake hood scoops, the dead giveaway. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know down in the comments which car was the riciest and which car was the nicest. The riciest, ooh, that's a mix-up between, the, I don't know, there's a few good ricers in this episode. The nicest one, of course, was the Subi, in my opinion, but let me know. Subscribe to see more videos like this one, and until next video, peace.